Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SR Lounge. Welcome to another weekly Lightroom edit. Uh, this is another image that I shot out in China. This was a family actually that took me out to eat at one of those kind of local fishery places where they go out and catch fish and then they basically make the fresh seafood right there. So it was really good food, um, super authentic Chinese food. It was pretty awesome. All right, so this image was shot with a Canon 5D Mark II. Uh, let's go over the settings. It was shot at 200 of a second at f2 on a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens at ISO 800. And it's a little bit underexposed, so we know it's going to be a little bit grainy, but that's okay because I kind of have a vision for this image as being, uh, you know, this is just a shot of dad and his son just sitting there and just kind of enjoying the moment. And dad looked over at his son. I thought it was really classic. I just wanted to capture that shot. And then once I got it, I thought, hey, this would be really cool. It's just kind of a, a timeless black and white, like looking back 30, 40, 50 years and seeing a black and white of, you know, son and dad together. So that's what I'm going to produce it as. So let's get started. What I'm going to do first is just uh, switch this to black and white because I do want this to be a black and white image. So I'm going to hit V. I'm going to start with our brightness. And so let's adjust the brightness up. And what I'm looking for is to get sun at about the right brightness because dad's a little bit off right now, but we'll fix him in a second. Now, because this does have some strong highlights in it, I do want to bring my recovery up. Let's go up to about plus 60. I'm also going to add a little bit of fill light just to uh, fill in some of the shadows a tiny bit. And then we're going to add a little bit more blacks for some contrast and some uh, contrast for additional contrast as well. Okay, I'm going to take clarity all the way up to 100. And again, I wanted to kind of have that old school feeling to it. So a nice high clarity amount will be nice for that mid-tone contrast. And here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to open up, let's close these other panels real fast. I'm going to open up my tone curve panel and we're going to change this to a reset linear curve. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our bottom point and we're going to drag it up just to kill the uh, basically the shadows. So it's going to pull up the shadows and kill all shadow detail. So it kind of has this nice old school look to it. It's really cool. And then we're going to pull down the uh, shadows just to give additional contrast. We're going to add a midpoint to pull up the midtones, as well as the highlights just a tiny bit. All right, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, and that's gray right there. Now I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. Whoops, I added an additional point instead of, uh, I'm going to undo that, Control Z. And then we're going to pull down a little bit more just to kill a little bit more of the shadows. And that looks cool right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to balance out this exposure a tiny bit. And I waited to this point because if we did it before, we wouldn't, we'd probably have to revisit it. So I did it kind of after adjusting everything else so that we just do it once. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull down my brightness just a tiny bit, just so his face isn't too bright. Next, I'm going to go over to my graduate filters. We're going to do an exposure brush. We're going to reset it, and then we're going to draw it in. And I'm going to hold shift, pull it in from the left side, and I want to pull the midpoint across dad's face just so it's barely across and touching suns. And then what we're going to do is adjust the exposure up. So let's pull it up until they're about balanced out. And it looks like at 0.68 is about where it looks kind of right. Okay, from here we're going to add just a little bit more blacks just to get it to be a little bit more contrasty, a little more contrast as well. And that looks great right there. We're done with our basic adjustments as well as our tone curve. Now let's go down and kind of add in the additional detail to make it kind of that old school image. So let's go down to the effects and sharpening. So we're going to go open up detail. I'm going to zoom in on Sun's face and we're going to, we're going to add a lot of sharpening to this because I kind of wanted to have that sharp and grainy look. And they were shot at ISO 800, so it's going to have a little bit of grain in it anyway, but I want additional grain. I want to kind of make it really nice and old school. So let's go down to our effects, and I'm going to add maybe about plus 60 on the grain, maybe even more. Maybe we'll go plus 70. I'm going to zoom in and check out what kind of grain that is. Okay, it's pretty thick grain right now, so let's just take back the size a bit and take back the roughness a little bit, and that'll kind of make it a little more even. And there we go. That looks great. The last thing I'm going to do is we're going to go into our lens corrections. And this is an image that would work very, very well with the actual vignette. So we're going to pull in a vignette and then just kind of adjust it a little bit so it's a little bit pulls in the midpoint and just kind of darkens the edges. And that looks beautiful right there, guys. So we've created a nice, just kind of timeless black and white look. Uh, looks like this was shot several years ago. And, uh, and dad and son just sitting there in a timeless moment. Let's check out the before. Here's our 
2010, or no, sorry, it's 2011, nearly 2012. Here's our 2012 super hi-fi image and our 1960 awesome black and white with son and dad sitting next to each other. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and we will see you with the next episode.